a lot of people have mentioned Zollipops. And I've also gotten a few comments like, well, why not something better without all the dyes, without all the sugar? And what we have to answer for ourselves is what's the purpose for this thing we're giving to our kids? Am I exposing them to candy in a way that I know they're going to engage with it in the world and I want them to learn with me how to engage with it properly so it's not good or bad, it's not moral, how to have self-control, how their tummy feels when they eat too many, how to eat it with something else to minimize the impact on their teeth. Like, am I trying to teach them about how to manage candy or does it have another purpose? In my house, I use things like Zolly Lollipops for purposes, but I don't actually use Zolly Pops. So Zolly Pops, I will say, I like the idea. It's a sugar-free candy, right? But if I'm just trying to teach my kids about candy, but I'm like, look, here's a healthier version of candy. I'm That's actually part of the problem. I don't want them to think candy is bad or this is good and this is junk. If it's just a lollipop, I don't care if it's a dum-dum. But if it's a zollipop because I want them to have something to help cleanse their mouth after eating something like crackers or they had an acidic drink, zollipops are problematic because they're still acidic and it's acid that weakens our enamel and they're having that acid in their mouth because it's a lollipop for a long time. So I don't actually love zollipops. What I like instead are these. So the toothpaste you guys see me talk about a lot that has fluoride and nano the appetite. They also make these things called lollies and they've got xylitol and hydroxyapatite in them and they are pH neutral. They don't taste great. They're not really tart because what gives sugar-free things a good flavor is that acidity. So something like a zollipop is going to taste much better. But if I have it for the purpose of cleansing their mouth after eating something or just something to keep them busy if they're distracted, they have dry mouth, they just threw up. I'm not going to give them a zollipop. I'm going to give them one of these lollies. So it has a purpose. It's not seen as a candy. It has a different intent. If that makes sense. What I actually like better from this family, from the Zaffy Zolly people, is Zaffy Taffy. So it is a sugar-free candy. They don't use xylitol anymore. They now use erythritol. It has some interesting studies that don't concern me too much because the amount is so low, but I like a taffy because it is going to mechanically cleanse the teeth of something like stuck on crackers because it's chewy. But this still the same issue is it's got some acid in it to give it its flavor. So Zaffy Taffy, I do have these in my house. My kids will sometimes eat these just as like something sweet if they want after having crackers. But what I like even better is a basic bite. So basic bites, I'll see if I can put a picture up here. They have caramel and they have chocolate flavors, so they're not fruity, but it's a little chew. So same thing, it's gonna pull out any left on food debris. And it has arginine, bicarbonate, carbonate, and calcium in it. So it is a source for my kids of a nutrient for their teeth. So I put these in their lunchbox. We actually eat one of these after brushing our teeth before bedtime. So it's kind of a toothbrushing motivator. So I use it for that purpose, but they're expensive. It's like 25 to 50 cents a chew. So I'm not giving this after every snack they have. Sometimes I'll do one of these. Sometimes we'll just eat a piece of apple or a piece of cheese to clean off our teeth and get the acidic or sugary thing or stuck on starch out of our mouth. Another great option if you've got kids who are trying to keep their teeth clean over the summer where after they're snacking on chips, crackers, that kind of stuff, all the stuff they love is sugar-free gum. Xylitol gum is my go-to. If you've got dogs, you've got to be careful with xylitol. You want to be sure that they're not going to get it stuck in their hair and especially that it's not a choking hazard. So typically ages five and up, but Pure is one of my favorite brands. Epic Spry, Zellies, they've also got some good ones, but chewing a gum can help clean off their teeth too. So do you need Zollipops? I don't know. They didn't really fit like a purpose for me. They were acidic still. Um, if they want a lollipop or a piece of candy, I'm going to give them real candy because I want them to learn how to manage and interact with real candy in a way that is not going to promote disordered eating. So I treat candy as candy. There's not a better version um, in my mind of candy. They're going to interact with real candy. They're going to come to vending machines, to friends' houses with candy. And I don't want to be like the almond mom with kids that are like, oh my God, oh Reese's. I want them to just be like, oh cool, we've got a, a thing of Reese's. So candy for me is candy. And then other things have a purpose. And I do love these lollies for kids with dry mouth after throwing up when you don't want to brush their teeth right away from that stomach acid exposure after they've had a juice out at a sports game and you want something to neutralize the pH and it has xylitol and hydroxyapatite and the hydroxyapatite is the mineral in your enamel that you lose with acidity. So these are really cool. They're also expensive though per unit, just like the basic bite. So if you're using them for a purpose, not like a treat, not like a candy, a dum dum, it's like a bag of 300 for 10 bucks. So it just depends what you're using it for where you might use certain things. I hope that helps.